Yo, what is up guys? It is Skarm, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the brand new icon sauce. I know I am a bit late to this video, of course. However, I'm still going to go recommend you guys what I personally think are the best combinations to take for icon swaps and stuff like that. If you guys aren't aware of what icon swaps is yet, of course, it's basically you get, grind a couple of these tokens. You guys can read all of those. You just got to win a couple of matches in each game mode with five first owned players and there's a couple squad battle versions as well once you guys get all those tokens i believe there is eight tokens for this season which is about 21 days or 20 days something like that but once january 1st does hit the brand new icon swap rewards will come out so you guys will be able to grind for i believe it was nine extra tokens something like that i believe you get yourself 17 tokens in total of course so meaning nine tokens would come out next season starting january 1st so i'll go move on to the actual rewards that you guys can get from icon swaps like i said i'm sure you guys have already seen it but here are my recommendations of what i actually do believe you guys should be going for and personally what i will be taking myself so for the first reward you get yourself two 125k packs the next reward includes a 585 or higher rated cards in the pack and that is going to cost you guys three tokens as you can see the 83 plus 25 pack is going to cost you guys a five icon swap tokens. And in my opinion, I definitely do recommend this specific one for sure. I personally will be doing the ultimate packs. I will be doing the 85 plus packs and I will be doing the 83 plus pack as well. Along with, of course, the fourth option, which is going to be the Mania Vidic. So for the first 20 days, which is going to be, of course, this season, I will be picking this Vidic. 85 rated baby card of course he looks like a very very good card in my opinion six foot three medium high rick rates great stats all around the board as you could see and i definitely do recommend him especially if you guys have a little bit of a weaker defense or if you guys just want to solidify your defense for like at least two months maybe more depending on how you guys do progress throughout ultimate team so as you can see, that would be 17 tokens for me. I'm going to go do Vintage now. I'll open the other three packs during Team of the Year. And hopefully, maybe pack myself an Alfonso Davies Team of the Year card. That's all I'm really hoping for, to be honest. However, I know not everyone wants to do just those random packs with gold cards in them. So the base icon is going to be 8 tokens, which honestly isn't too bad, but it's not the greatest either. Haji, definitely do not recommend doing this. You guys could do the base or mid icon pack along with the 83 plus and the ultimate packs of course i think that's a pretty good combination as well sucre i would definitely wouldn't recommend doing the mid icon pack i mean i wouldn't really recommend doing that either ronald's kumin it's not the worst card ever honestly it's a pretty good cdm that you could be using however do i really recommend it honestly no i don't recommend it uh right card he doesn't seem too bad i mean i think by the time you do get him, there will be better options out there for a reasonable price. So maybe not the best option. However, you guys will have the option of, of course, changing your mind down the line because this would take you quite a while to get. For the mid or prime icon pack, honestly, it's not the worst thing ever. I'm sure many people do want to have fun. So you guys could do this with the 125Ks. In my opinion, that's also not a bad choice. And for these last three options, which is going to be the 89 plus pack for the mid icons. So I've done the calculations and you approximately have a 48% chance of getting something bad. Of course, that is a little opinion based of what I think is bad compared to what you think is bad. However, it's reasonably all around the same area. So about 48% chance of getting something bad. That is basically 28 out of, I believe, 59 icons. The chance of getting a good icon is going to be 11 out of 59 which is about 18 percent and a chance of getting a great icon is about 34 percent which is 20 out of 59 so it's not the worst thing ever about one out of three chances right there so do i think this is a terrible one i don't think it's terrible i mean you would be very very disappointed if you did grind 60 tokens to get maybe like i don't know bobby moore or something like that boresi like we i'm sure no one really wants that that's definitely not going to be very fun getting one of those after all the grind you may have put in. Along with that, you guys can't get anything else with this. So it's basically the same as doing a 17 pick option, which in the 17s, I also don't recommend them. They're not the greatest tier on re. I mean, it looks like a cool card and all, but he just isn't good. And uh, trust me on this. I've used the card before. The balance is awful. Uh, the work rates are honestly really, really bad as well. It's not a fun card to use. 
especially if you guys are going to be playing this card on the wing if you guys play in striker it's a little more viable however for 17 uh tokens i definitely don't recommend this at that point do the 89 mid icon and hope and pray and the option that i did is skip over which is the base icon player pick you can have the option of one from three options that do pop up and i'm sure many of you guys have played foot champs and stuff like that the chance of getting something good from a player pick honestly isn't that great it's obviously better than just going for the normal base icon but for 17 tokens once again for a base icon i definitely don't recommend it in my opinion like i said before the best options are either to go for either the mid or prime icon with the 125k packs which is the ultimate packs of course the other options of course are going to be take the base or mid icon pack which you guys can get a little quicker than doing the other ones and then you guys can go take the 83 plus pack and the ultimate packs in my opinion that's probably one of the best options you guys can take or if you guys are looking for a short-term solution right now along with just some fun packs to do which personally i will be picking it's gonna be an amanda vidish right now that i will be taking this season and then the three packs during a team of the year so in my opinion those are the best three options you guys have to take it's up to you at the end of the day see how it goes once you guys grind all the tokens However, guys, that is going to be the video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace out.